Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sierra Love and I'm here with another video, you guys. So this is our first ever side part. First ever side part on a curly unit, you guys. I, I've i never did a side, and if I did, it didn't stick with me enough for me to know that this is not our first one, okay? This one, this this is for the books. This is for the books. I'm in love. And, and then, you know how some people, they just do like one side, baby, look at this. We got this side too. I'm in love. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how I installed this unit. I'm going to show you guys all my tips. Let me show you guys what's in the box. Hold on. Okay, because the hair is amazing, but it's good that they also send us things in the box as well. So that's another plus. Okay, yo, Lisa, she be, okay. Our band, our stretchy band to lay down our edges, mandatory, okay? They sent us a edge brush in his white, my favorite color. Eyelashes, of course. This is the band that you can use to tie down your edges. If you guys do wanna do that, you have it here. I love it, I love it when they send us a bag. They sent us a bag, I love it. Cause once I take this wig out, I wash it and then I just put it in this bag, baby, <laughs> for later uses. Wig cap, and then of course, instructions on how to comb out your wig, how to take care of the wig. Number one, I love companies that does that. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a positive for me. It's a big positive for me because it just makes me fall in love more with the company when I feel so much special. And I know you guys can tell like through my videos if I feel like this company is so good, I'm gonna express it. Like you guys are going to know this. I am gonna be showing you guys all my tips and tricks on how to install the unit to get your curly unit to look this good and just how to install it like in general because I don't feel like a lot of people give a lot of tips when it comes to installing a unit, not just that. When it comes to, I'm also doing the edges and getting your unit to look this good a lot of people do not give the tips like they don't give the deets and that right there that right there <laughs> that gonna make me cry all night <laughs> no but that right there it really honestly i don't like it i really don't like it i don't i like to know all the details and everything if you're going to get on here and make these videos give me the details okay and honestly guys all of this stuff like the thing that i do know now it took me learning and process like if you guys go back to my old videos honey it took me time before i had to learn and really strategize how am i going to install this wig what's the best way what works for me what doesn't i'm just giving you guys my what works for me and what doesn't work for me and i know it's going to work for you like i'm not even going to say anything eh, eh. no it's going to work for you trust me get a larger cap size when you're ordering your unit get the largest one trust me i don't care if you say i have the bikiniest head get the bigger one because guess what you guys let's just say one day hey you got some old braids in the braids are big even though your head is small the braids are big and they're kind of sticking up and then now you order the small wig and you try to put it on and it's not going to fit don't be mad at me because it's not fitting i told you to get the large one so the, the large one is necessary just because when it comes to gluing down you don't have to pull or stretch to make sure that it fits it lays so easy and that is the number one tip that i have for any beginner anybody all of you guys watching that don't know how to install the wig number one tip is please please make sure that the cap is large because here's the deal you can always from large you can make it smaller you see what i'm saying but from small how are you going to expand that wig are you going to cut your lace like you know what i'm saying so just do large because if you get a large and like, hey it's not fitting from the back you can kind of put it together and then sew it so that it does fit you you know there's just there's just um tips that i just would give to beginners when it comes to making the lace fit and look this gorgeous okay it's just tips that i would give baby another thing people i be seeing y'all honey let's talk about it okay <laughs> your lace like not your lace but your ball cap get a darker ball cap you guys do not get those light light ball caps okay and let's just say let's so happen you order wig and they give you a light one which is probably not gonna happen but it might it might all my wigs that i've been getting is darker skin tone but it might happen if you if you get a ball cap or a wig cap i'm talking about this this right here wig cap if you get this guys don't get it like her you see hers in the back Hers is what, what she can use that one because her skin complexion. But if you're like me, get it darker like this. This will look good. And not just that, even after once you start stretching, it lightens up. This is my go to. She's dirty. I haven't even cleaned her off in a long time. Yeah, it only takes seconds to wipe her down. She's doing my holy grail. And I'm going to recommend her. If you're brown skin baddie like me, I'm going to recommend her. NYX Matte Bronzer. This is her, and this is in the color Deep Tan. This is what I use for everything. Look at it. We're, we're pan. We're pan scraping, okay? 
I hope they never take this off. But this right here is what I use on a regular. I use this when it comes to making sure that this looks like scalp my skin. You see what I'm saying? Just go darker. Trust me, just like I do on my foundation, I go a little darker because it's easier to brighten than to darken. Th then you're gonna be good. Anyway, I'm just rambling on you guys. So yes, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. I love this install. Let me show you guys a little, a little bitty of, you know what I'm saying? Look at this unit though. Exclude the motorcycles, y'all. But look at this unit. She's so good. Little to nothing. We got a side part going on with our side. Our sides are also looking good. Like, come on. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. I'm going to take so many different pictures. So if you guys don't know, follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram is Sierra Love. Make sure you guys go ahead and follow me so you guys can see those pictures. And I look stunning. I'm going to put it out there. I look good. I look like bae. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. I know you want it better, putting on the pressure. This pressure's gonna get the very best of me. Uh, give a little something, doesn't come for free. Oh, I know you have questions, baby. Even if I try and try. Okay, guys, so here's the unit okay she's so lovely I'm just going to go ahead and take my bronzer my NYX matte bronzer and I am going to place that all over the inside of the lace just because I do have it on my on my dome cap okay guys after I've used if you guys can see the brown in there on the wig and then I'm just going to put it on my head before I do tape her down you guys I am going to take my got to be gel and oh don't mind all the hair on her and we're just gonna go ahead and put her over the wig well not over the wig but over the line if you guys see that little line that's there we're gonna put her over it it's gonna dry a little bit all i'm gonna do is pull this down exactly where i want the wig to lay and once that happens you can hold it down like this to make sure that the wig doesn't go anywhere Ooh, I'm gonna be so happy with this song. I install, I already know it's gonna come out good. I already know. I'm unsure, like right now, I don't know what kind of baby hairs I'm gonna do. I probably do dramatic ones. I don't know. Find out when we get there, huh? I might do dramatic baby hairs. With this kind of hair, you guys, I like to clip it out the way only because we got a lot. So I take my clips and just move them back out of the way. If you guys know me, the next steps that I do, I just take my got to be spray around it and then I just comb it back like this just so that it distributes evenly blow dryer I have a whole video on her link down below she dries pretty quickly so you guys don't have to worry about her and then you guys I I, I do high heat if um, for everybody asking I do high heat because I feel like it just dries the hair so much more faster I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to do the um, ears no take this down when you do the ears guys go upwards towards the ears don't go straight across like that just do this and cut off what needs to be don't do excessive wow this way was so good this is all the hair that came off this lace is good oh my god i'm so happy oh my god i'm so happy and again you guys you keep the extra parts for the ears just in case later you say hey i want to dye this wig you keep it for later okay so i cut my wigs into threes if you don't know me now you know I cut her into threes and then I kind of just like pull the back a little bit. I do want to keep a little lace there, you guys, and I'll show you guys why in a little bit. But I'll explain to you now. You want to keep a little lace because you want it to look as natural as possible. Um, a lot of people, they do like the zigzag thing with the lace. I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. So I kind of, I try, but I know I'm not doing it right. So I just cut the lace regular. Remember you guys, leave extra lace leave extra lace i repeat honey so here's the thing i'm indecisive because i don't know if i'm going to do a middle part or a side part and of course it matters when it comes to edges so i can go on with a side part never really did a side part with a curling unit before do i want to try it today oh guys i think we're going to do a side part only because i've never done one before so you guys never saw one you guys are always seeing me do middle so i'm gonna do a side part i still feel like no okay this is the thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go with the eyebrow. i was gonna go with the eyebrow arch but now i'm just gonna go at the top of the eyebrow I feel like i feel way much more comfortable right here just rolling with that let me press this first Oh, it's laying down. 
Okay, so I really, yeah, I should have known that I shouldn't have to worry about the, the fact that it was going to be puffy because the pressing cone, I don't know. You know us girls. <laughs> oh, us girls, baby. Okay. Oh, she coming through. I don't know, though. I still don't know. Let me, where's my phone? Okay. Let me Google and see how these people's side parts be looking because maybe I feel like a side part just doesn't fit my face. Okay. I'm seeing some cute ones. None of them are looking intriguing. None of them are like, yeah, this is how you should do it. Oh, I hate that. I freaking hate that. Mm. Or am I hating it because there's no edges? I don't know. I just, I don't think curly hair is good to the side. Yeah, nobody's convincing me. Nobody on Google is convincing me. This one girl, she's kind of having me on. She got me on edge, okay? I'm not even gonna lie because I like her hair and it's taking forever to load but I'm just scared and her shit look like she coming all the way to the middle like that I don't want to mess up my makeup my eye Ugh. okay hold on so let's work on these edges because that's probably the only reason why I'm kind of like uh I'm not liking this at all probably because of edges so hell yeah I'm doing edges right here <laughs> but I ask myself am I doing edges across the top part but duh who am I without them Look at this girl, Scapiana. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. It's making me want to do a middle part so bad. Cut all these little pieces. I hope I didn't cut them too short. And then I'm just going to take my same gel that I use, guys. My black gel. And we're just going to lay these down. And I'm going to swoop them going this way. Oh, girl. Swoop them going this way. Okay, guys, so these are about the best edges that we can do. Okay, hold on. These are about the best edges that I can do. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to work with it. I love how it looks like scalp. I'm wearing this wig out. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Who are you? Is this your real hair? Yes. Why are you asking? Do, do you want to take a picture or what? <laughs> I'm not normally used to having the hair on this side of my face, but we're going around with it. I take my powder and I just go over and make my line. With my powder. Bam. Boom, da da. Then you can take your brush, like one of your makeup brushes that you use to contour. And I say contour on purpose because you want the um, lace to be a little bit more darker or at least the same color as your skin, not lighter. I hate when I be seeing them light, 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 light. We know it's fake, baby. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to pinch it and kind of like go over. Look at that. Look at that. Scalp. Now guys, all I'm gonna go ahead and do is spray this down. Not a lot from afar. Use that same pressing tool and just go over it. And the hair is clean, so it's gonna lay. Sometimes if your hair is dirty and you try to go over it with a pressing comb, it is not gonna lay. And if it does lay, you're gonna have like these white patches over it. I don't want you guys to be like, nah, see, are you lying? Girl, I tried to go over it one time and everything turned white. It's because your hair was dirty. Your hair was dirty. But on fresh, fresh hair like this, once you spray this and you put it on, you're not going to have white residue. Trust me. My spray bottle. And I'm just going to lightly hold this, of course, push it out the way. Lightly spray. Don't go excessive. And notice how I'm staring away from my scalp that I just finished doing while I'll, I'll block it with my hand as I'm spraying. And it looks so good. This hair looks so good. You can't tell me nothing. I'm going to the beach and taking pictures tomorrow. Hopefully we get some good LA weather because the weather in LA has been so crazy. For what reason? I don't know. I mean, it's LA. If you guys are natives to LA like me, then you know how LA weather is. <laughs> Thank my mama for deciding to stay in LA. <laughs> and then I hold my ends up like this and spray them, you guys. Not a lot because you, if you guys know me, you know I don't like that damp, dampy hair. I do want it to be curly, but just not damp. I actually like this side part, and I thought I wasn't. This is my side, first ever side part. That You guys are witnessing my first ever side part, and I slayed it. Pearl. I did that, honey. What? First ever side part, and it looks like this? Who you know? <laughs> Who do you know, though? Like, that is a real question, not just that. When you lift her up, she's also good. So tomorrow when I'm going out and I'm, I feel like doing the middle part, baby, I can just part her right up the middle. 
but bottom line this side part looks amazing let me throw on my hoops and then i'm gonna um, come closer so you guys can see everything i feel like i just created a whole another hole in my ear you guys ever feel like that like you just made a second hole oh my god i hate that i freaking hate that both ears feel like it maybe because i haven't had earrings on in a minute maybe i just reopened it but they feel like i just created a whole nother hole in the back oh my god i hate the pain anyway what do we think this is a finishing look i love the part she's so cute never did a part before so thank you guys for coming on this journey this is her up close you can't tell me where my lace is so just don't even lie and say i can because you can't so don't lie i look so good like a baby doll oh my god you guys i like this and i love this lace even more <laughs> what okay let's go back cute <laughs> what i did this me we did this <laughs> this is what you can get at home you guys this is the up close of the unit she looks great and i don't know why she's not darkening up but she looks like scalp, like all the way. And even my ears are not even as down as they could be. But she looks so good. Not my ears, but the, the parts by my ears, they're not down all the way. But she looks amazing. Amazing. Look at this scalp. Oh, they finna. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's enough, girl. Listen, I'm here to share, okay? I'm here to share. This is what I'm here for. Okay, so this is her. Let me stand up a little bit. She's 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 long. Of course, she goes longer than this, but this is how she is. So to my waist, she's pretty long. She's so pretty. I love this side part, you guys. I'm in love. And remember, I was like, I don't know. I love it. Impeccable. This is amazing. I love it. All right, guys. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, do not forget to go ahead and leave them down below. I really hope you guys like this side part that I did, that we did together. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned from this video, you guys, and it's so lovely. All right, you guys. I love you, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye.